What's up, guys? I'm Ashley Jenkins, and today we're talking Payday 2's staggering digital sales figures, 3DS's underwhelming software sales, Cortana vs. Siri, and J.J. Abrams blames the Star Trek game. It's no secret that copies of Payday 2 were difficult to find, but that didn't stop it from becoming a commercial success. The game sold 1.6 million copies, and out of those, 1.3 million were digital. That means they only sold 300,000 physical copies. We hit the streets to hear from regular, everyday gamers about the difficulties of finding actual physical copies of Payday 2 when it launched. I went to... Are you filming? Is this going to be on TV? Um, I, uh, I called, a, I called like a Best Buy, and they didn't have it. So I went to another one, they didn't have it. Uh, I, had, I had to drive like a lot, far, to get it. It's a tough story. But these figures indicate many gamers are more than willing to turn to digital if they can't find games in stores. On the flip side, Nintendo is kind of having a rough time of it. In a newly released software sales list, they revealed that Animal Crossing, the currently ubiquitous 3DS game, only sold 739,000 copies in the U.S. And Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, which tops the list, only sold 860,000. I'm sure Pokemon X and Y will blow those numbers out of the water. But in the meantime, those are pretty low figures for Nintendo's most successful platform. It kind of makes you wonder what their figures are like on Wii U, huh? In a word, painful. Pikmin 3 has only sold 115,000 copies since its summer launch, and New Super Luigi U has only sold 120,000 copies. In Microsoft news, it appears their answer to Siri could be named after Cortana, the AI character in Halo. Nothing's been confirmed yet, but Cortana does at least appear to be the project code name, having appeared in a list of apps in a working build of an upcoming version of Windows Phone. Exactly when Cortana may make her debut seems up for debate. It could be as early as Windows Phone's blue version in early 2014, or if you listen to conservative estimates, not until 2016. Whenever it is, cross your fingers that we get Jen Taylor herself doing the voice. How amazing would that be? Director J.J. Abrams has accused the new Star Trek game of hurting his movie and his feelings. He'd had hopes that the game would be beneficial to his movie series, really that's the hope of any time, but when he saw the direction it was going, he decided to drop out. The studio, Digital Extremes, released anyway to universally poor reviews, and Abrams believes this not only didn't help the movie, but may actually have hurt it. This hasn't put Abrams off movie game tie-ins, though. As we've known since February, he's working with Valve on what may be a Half-Life or Portal movie, and here's hoping that one bucks the trend of game movie mediocrity. Well, that's it for today. It's time for the weekend. And here's a pro tip. Check out roosterteeth.com tomorrow, especially if you like Harry Potter.